A family member we spoke to on the scene says she did not know the couple to have any domestic violence issues in their marriage. This is a story of 52-year-old Linda Cole Jackson of Bessemer, Alabama. Bessemer is known as the Marvel City. It's located in the heart of central Alabama and it's the home of more than 27,000 residents. It was founded in 1887 by a coal magnate Henry de Bartleben Bessemer and it grew rapidly in its early years earning its nickname the Marvel City. Growth continues to be their mantra as they head into tomorrow. Bessemer is the hub of western Jefferson County and is an economic engine driving development in Birmingham, Hoover metropolitan area. Their city is business friendly and is home to diverse blend of industries and companies. Bessemer is also the home to great restaurants, awesome recreational amenities, and distinguished list of famous natives. Jackson worked at Compass Bank for 10 years and was loved by all who knew her. Linda was said to be compassionate with a very loving spirit that drew you directly in. She was a God-fearing woman who was devoted to Christ. Jackson was a good neighbor willing to help anyone with anything. She had recently married 39-year-old Belton Eugene Nettles in January of 2019. Jackson had three kids, one of whom was at her home when this all took place. It is unclear if Nettles has ever done anything like this before. Crimes like this are often swept under the rug. The offense apparently started with an argument between the couple on Sunday, May 26, around 3 a.m. When it was over, Nettles was sexually violating Jackson's daughter, and Jackson walked in on him, yelled for him to stop, and she was trying to defend her daughter. He then fired multiple bullets at Jackson, which ended her life. Nettles had murdered Jackson in front of her daughter. He kept the daughter hostage for hours against her will until she was able to quietly let some family members know what was going on. They was able to convince him to let her go. Police were called to the scene around 3.14 p.m. of the next day deputies were dispatched to investigate a homicide in a 4700 block of Long Meadow Drive in the McKellar community. Over 50 of Jackson's family members and friends kept vigil outside the crime scene. Pull together, look after each other, love each other, you know, just, just say a kind word sometime because people are valuable and uh, I feel that we need to invest in and people more, especially in our neighborhood. Nettles wouldn't give up. He refused to come out for over 12 hours. Then he finally turned himself in. The 39-year-old was charged with capital murder in the slaying of his wife, 52-year-old Linda Cole Jackson. He was later booked into the Jefferson County Jail where he remained since his arrest more than three years ago. Then, in March of this year, Nettles pled guilty to a reduced charge of murder as well as attempted murder, violating and sodomy. Jefferson County Bessemer cut off Circuit Judge David Carpenter sentenced Nettles to life in prison. 
he will be eligible for parole. This has been traumatizing for the daughter, who was also a victim of Nettles, as well as the rest of the family, neighbors, friends, and all who knew and loved Jackson. There was never any reason to believe that something of that caliber was going to happen. Thomas Brooch lives right next door to where authorities say a man shot and killed his wife in the Letson Farms neighborhood. You never really think it's going to hit close to home. And for us, it, it hit. And that family is a great family. Um, you know, everybody in the family, from what we've seen, uh, just in their short time living in the neighborhood. They're very, very close-knit family. And neighbors say while the couple that lived here was always quiet and peaceful, it's an unfortunate reminder that anything can happen at any place and any time. Obviously, it, it being as shocking as it is, we don't know really the, the underlying cause, but um, there's no telling if somebody did have information and had said something, you know, we might not be talking right now. Broach left stressing the importance of neighbors looking after neighbors as they try and process all that happened. Linda Cole Jackson married a man who she thought loved her and was a good person, when really he was a sick, evil, twisted monster who never should be freed from the prison that he's locked away in. On a memory wall, Jackson's friend wrote, the beautiful soul, heart, and spirit left behind will always linger on. Share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more true crime content. Thanks for watching.